Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is LMS Alucard with Ambivalent Gaming, and this is the first, uh, maybe actual informational video. Uh, I don't have like a series planned or anything, so I mean if I come across stuff, I come across stuff and yeah, I'll share information, that's fine. This one was a little, this topic was a little interesting for me because my initial search came up with nothing. Uh, and that is uploading screenshots that you did not take in the game itself using the hotkey, which is usually F12 uh, if you're on keyboard or mouse, uh, it, that's built into Steam. So the issue is you, you, you're playing the game, you're doing it however you're playing the game however you want, and you want to take screenshots while you're playing, but maybe you're kind of like me and you like to use the print screen button and then modify everything that you want to modify later. Um, or maybe you're like me, and recently what I've started doing is I will actually get a video clip <coughs> that I can scroll through and find a, good, a moment in time. Instead of trying to time it by pressing a button, I will find a moment in time in that video. Uh, since it's at 60 frames per second, it gives me a lot of options, and usually I can find that you know the moment that I want to capture. In either case, in any case, you're going to have a hard time uploading these things if you don't know what to do. Um, what is kind of funny is when I did my initial research, research into this, I couldn't find any answers. And this is why I'm kind of making this video. It was difficult for me to find answers, uh, you know, going to Steam. Like, I'm actually going to create a discussion post in here. Um, after I'm done recording this video. <coughs> um, and it really wasn't until I started searching more kind of hot key, you know, keywords that I was able to start coming across a couple things that actually pretty much line up with exactly what I do. The issue I'm having with the steps that they have here <coughs> uh, for some of these places that I found uh, you know, this website, for example, everything they state, <clears throat> as far as I could tell, is correct. You know, you end up finding this folder. But look at how far you have to go down just to get to the point where you're finding that folder. They want you to be finding the app ID. Is there's something about adding friends or something like that? And I'm like, this doesn't, yeah, right here, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I, you know, there are steps there that you don't really need to take. Um, and then this guy, <clears throat> Jesse, uh, Jess Everything, or Jesse, Every however he wants to say his name, um, he's got some good ideas, he's got good points, but like if you go to this part in his video, uh, he's talking about you need to have dummy files, and then you can copy and paste everything in there. Now this is certainly one particular approach that you can take to doing your screenshots, but what this guy and this website are getting incorrect is that it's not based on your file name. It is based on your file type. So when I was first trying to figure all this out, everything I was doing was in PNG format when it needs to be JPEG. So. I want to clarify some additional details that these people, they're not wrong, but they're adding additional information that's not entirely necessary. Uh, and skipping other bits. Um, and I want to provide maybe a different approach that you can try to take that hopefully might make some of this a little bit easier. So without much further ado, let's get into it. All right, so step one, we need to identify that folder. Now the simplest way really to do this is to actually launch the game, which are, whatever game it is. For example, I'm gonna be showing uh, Elden Ring uh, in this particular set. You can actually see some of the screenshots I've uploaded as uh, tests. Uh, but essentially you're gonna go into the game and you're gonna use your default screenshot button to get the screenshot. And that will uh, make it super easy for anybody. Doesn't matter your level of skill it will make it super easy for everybody to be able to figure out where you need to put your screenshots in order to be able to get them uploaded. So after you've done that, you've played, you've launched into the game, you've hit your screenshot button, which in case you don't know what that is, you want to go to your Steam settings. 
<clears throat> you're going to go to end game options and then your screenshot short uh, shortcut keys should be programmed right here keyboard and mouse will usually be f12 you can set it to whatever you want it to be uh, there are there is a sort of secondary option where you can kind of choose what folder you want to upload everything to i don't think that's important here although that is an option uh, but f12 will create by default for your game the folder location everything you need to get started so step one is launch the game get a screenshot using your screenshot shortcut key and then exit the game back you know exit out of the game step two we need to actually now we need to truly identify what that where that screenshot is so if you go to view and you go to your screenshot manager you're going to go and find that game. You're going to go to your show list. You're going to find whichever game it is. Like I said, we're doing Elden Ring. And you're going to find that screenshot. So again, I've got <clears throat> several pictures in here. You're going to pick whatever screenshot you want. It honestly does not matter. Just pick one. And then you're going to click on Show on Disk. And what's going to end up happening is a window is going to pop up that shows where your screenshots are being uploaded easy peasy this is exactly where we're going to be uploading our files so that we can get our screenshots uploaded into steam and step three get this screenshot however you're going to do it play the game do what you want to do get your screenshot maybe you already have it that's why you're watching this video and you're going to need to make sure that you you know can find it do, do what you normally do to get your screenshots. This is the one that I'm going to be uploading for this video. Basically, I've created a sort of <clears throat> lightning-based build in Elden Ring. I think it looks kind of cool. It reminds me of Raiden from Mortal Kombat a little bit, which is kind of you know why he's wearing the uh, uniform that he's wearing. But anyways, this is the picture we're going to use. Now, what is important to understand here is it's not the name, but the file type this is what really matters so after you have found your picture we need to make sure that the format is correct so <clears throat> step three is setting the correct format so uh, finding your picture and setting the correct format so we're going to go in and the easiest way i have found to do this is you can actually right click the picture you can you know run you know run ms paint um, and load the picture in that way, whatever's going to work best. You know, you can file open and load that picture in. That's perfectly fine as well. I am accustomed to just doing right click on the picture and edit. That will automatically open it in MS Paint. And then we can do a very quick save. So we can do a save as here. Again, I'm setting this up in a way that's easy for everybody. You go in, you do a save as, and you'll see a save as type at the bottom. You want to click on that and change it to a JPEG. Now, for ease, I usually upload everything that I'm trying to do to the desktop, just so that everything is easy to find. It's all right there. So we change it to a desktop or to a JPEG, save it to the desktop. In the transparency, nobody cares. And then that's it. We can close out of that window. I'm going to minimize Steam a little bit. And you can see right here, this is the file that was saved. I'm, for my sake, I'm just going to move the file over because I can. And there you have it. We do know that we have a JPEG file and we know that this is going to work. So step three is find, and find your picture and then really step four uh, if you want to call it that, step four is changing the file type to a JPEG. Step five, you want to take that picture, put it right over here with all the others. You don't even have to have the others, that's perfectly fine. And just make sure you drag and drop that in there. Now, this next step is not critically important. However, it will be convenient that you make sure that you do this. Uh, but after you drag and drop your file over, copy, paste, cut, paste, however you want to do it, you're going to want to go ahead and create another copy of that file. And then we're going to go into the thumbnails folder and paste it in. Now, essentially what we're trying to do is make sure Steam is happy and that you can see what the pictures are 
without any error messages and things like that. So we want to make sure that the thumbnail that we're getting ready to uh, work on is the right size as everything else. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure exactly how tolerant Steam is of this, but generally speaking, at least for me, the way that this has all worked is my thumbnails have always been 200 by 112 pixels. So I'm gonna go into the picture I wanna upload. I'm going to click on resize after opening it in MS Paint. I'm going to click on resize pixels. And I'm going to make sure that I have the correct horizontal and vertical, same numbers. Click OK. Save. Exit out. And now we should be all set to see if it's going to work in Steam. There is one last step, but as far as the picture goes, the screenshots, we are good to go. So we're going to go to Steam, we're going to make sure that we exit out of Steam, sign out, close out, I'm going to make sure you do the whole nine yards, and I'm going to reload Steam, and we're going to make sure Steam pops up, and I will see you in just a second, and we're going to get Steam loaded back up, and we're going to go back to the screenshot folder, so view, screenshots, select the game that you're uploading to, and voila there's your picture there's your new screenshot it's named the way you want it named in your folder you don't have to worry about specific naming conventions uh, <clears throat> all you got to do really for the most part is make sure that the picture is a jpeg file there might be other uh, formats that steam will accept but as long as it is a jpeg file and you restart steam and it's in that folder, that's pretty much all you need. So as a quick recap for people that didn't want to listen to me talking all that much, here are the steps to make this work. We need to identify where the folder is. So the quickest way to do that really for me is to go into the game, take a screenshot using the default key, screenshot key that Steam has programmed, then you can go back into the Steam library here, go to View, Screenshots, select the game that you took the screenshot in, click the image that you took a screenshot of, and then Show on Disk, and up pops the folder that has the location on your computer where that screenshot is. Next is to get your screenshot file into here, so wherever that is on your computer, however you have it set up, you're going to want to copy, paste, cut, paste, whatever, right into this folder. The next thing you want to make sure you do is you have the correct format. You can do this with MS Paint. You can right click and just hit edit. Either way, you want to make sure that you do a save as, you set it to JPEG, or if you have the file extensions available for you to change, you can go in and rename it and then change PNG to JPEG. I usually do not recommend that it's better to open the file than save as the jpeg file but make sure you have that jpeg file the next thing after that you're going to want to make sure you have an accurate thumbnail so you're going to take that same picture copy and paste into the thumbnail folder the uh, thumbnail does need to be a smaller size so by default, I believe if you are a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you're going to want to resize your picture down to 200 by 112. It should do the trick for you. Make sure it gets saved. Your screenshot is now officially ready within the screenshots folder, so you can exit out of that. You need to rerun Steam. So you're going to need to go to Steam, exit out, restart your computer. If you want to do that, I don't care. As long as Steam is closed out and completely reopened, after you do that, you're going to go to View, Screenshots, and then your new picture should be there. If you would like to have additional details, just make sure you go back through the video. That was just a quickie version for those who wanted that. Any questions or issues, or if you find something else that's worth noting, please let me know. I can add annotations. I can maybe add a new... Uh, uh, video to the list or of course I'm going to create a steam discussion on this because I actually haven't seen one yet and it'd be worth posting information on this but that pretty much sums it up again any questions or issues just let me know and you have yourself a great day